Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 2. Today is episode number 14. If you guys do enjoy the content, then be sure to leave a like, as it really does help with the YouTube algorithm at the moment. Feel free to subscribe, drop a follow on Twitch, and hopefully you enjoy the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. Okay, so we're going to be taking part in the Tuna face-off next. This is Sylvia's versus Altezas from Lexus. Not really a battle I've, I'm confident with, but uh, I don't care. Let's go with Maple Valley, Sakuba Circuit, and then New York Circuit. And we're also taking the top secret S15. All right, here we go. Let's get going. Okay, I really like the look of this car. Holy... I know this is overpowered and way too fast, but I don't care. Look at the size of that exhaust pipe. That's ridiculous. I know... So, here's the thing. I want a really crappy car that doesn't cost too much. I won't be selling it. My first car I won't sell... But what I might do is add crap to it. You can shove your leg into that exhaust. You can, yes. I think my plan will be to add stuff to the car. Maybe make it a little more powerful. Because I know a friend who's got two cars, I believe. One of them, he basically dug it out of a hedge. Um, and then just... Uh, he, he he did uh, a legal thing I can't I can't mention, <laughs> which is why I cannot name them. <laughs> but uh, they've done some different mods to it, um, to the car, specifically the exhaust system, <laughs> and uh, it, it's really nice sounding. It's really good, but um, I don't think I'll go to the level that he did. But I'd definitely put, like, a air filter. Um, change out spark plugs for something different. I don't know. I don't know what you can actually change to make an engine more powerful. Without just chopping off the exhaust. And the mufflers and all that stuff. And the cat. <laughs> and the cats as well. Oh my god. Well. There goes my rear bumper. Yay! Oh, I'm so happy. I'm sad. No, I've absolutely binned it. How have I managed that? Oh, the car's coming. So this is an S-rated car and I've absolutely destroyed it. I've lost the rear wing, which I genuinely think downforce is actually affected in this game. I feel like they added that so that if you lost, like, damage the rear of your car, you'd have a little less rear grip. Not anything substantial, but I do notice it. I like how it says bulletproof on the bank, but clearly it's not bulletproof or crash proof or anything like that when it just shatters like that. <laughs> I've got a stock wrecked S15. That's what it looks like. Yo, Suffix, what up? Welcome. Welcome back. Is it me or does the video feed look kind of dark on my second monitor? It looks weird on my second monitor. I might have to, uh, check up and make sure my capture card isn't fucking up. I don't think it is. Might just be it's fairly dark. You never know. Whoa! We're halfway there. Whoa! Donkey in a chair. Take my hand.
Coolio, we're going out the inside there. <laughs> I really cannot control this car on this track. I genuinely can't believe that. This is my fourth recording session of Motorsport 2. And this is only technically a half length session because we're only doing it for about two hours. And we will technically be around about 35 maybe 36% completed. This game is much... The events are much shorter. The, the lap length isn't ridiculous. But there are more events. But I think I'm happy with that. Because like Motorsport 3, there was a wide variety, but there wasn't a lot of events to do in each one. Pretty much each championship was like three to five races, something like that. Motorsport 4, it was a little more. It was about three to seven. So they've got the variety in those two games, and I think that's why it, Motorsport 5, 6, and 7 didn't do well, because they added so many events. Uh, yeah, give me a second then, I'll have a look. Oh, I nearly binned it. Ah, oh, he's still nearly binned it. There we go. Six minutes, 13. Not too bad. We got exactly 2,000 gigabytes left on my hard drive. Woohoo! Oh, I pressed start recording. I wasn't ready. Ah, bugger. Okay, let's go. <laughs> I wasn't ready for that, me. Why did I press start recording? <laughs> Go. I'm one of those people that doesn't like to do a take two whenever I'm recording shit. So if I've like done something, if I start or whatever, I I just go with it. Oh, I really like this. <laughs> to be honest, it's not really blind designing. You know how to design, how to use a design editor and stuff, stuff like that. The thing is, right, I don't have a lot of creative... Well, I've got some creativity. I could work some things out. Um, the only problem is I struggle to use the editors in Forza. I know they're the easiest way to do it for people who aren't, like, um, I don't know, it's, it's an easier way than doing it on like a flat version of it, but just trying to get the shapes to follow the curves that I want them to just never seems to go my way, and that's why I just don't bother. Oh, lovely. Same as I don't bother with these corners, apparently. Apparently, I don't like this car. Luckily for me, this is an S-Class car, and the uh, other cars are B-Class. So I basically got like 300 extra performance points. This thing's overpowered compared to the others. But again, I don't care, because I'm having fun with the game. Oh. Trying to like crack every single joint in my neck because it's extremely uncomfortable. Well, uh, I'm. Corners are needless. You only live for that quarter mile, 10 seconds. <laughs> Agreed. If you can do the quarter mile in 10 seconds, you're living life. 
Yo, Aaron, what's up? Welcome. How are you today? Hopefully you're having a good day. Hey, nice slide there. Not bad. You're done doing the boring thing. What do you mean? The cruising is fun. Yet to experience what cars are actually like. Bum 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 ba nam bum bum bum. And <laughs> that my friend is adrenaline. It's definitely a game that a lot of people are playing at the moment because of the gas prices. They're like, how far can I get on this tank of fuel? I mean, a lot of people are only filling their tank half full now. Because that way, if the gas prices go down, they're not spending as much. But it's only fucking them up more at the moment because they're actually spending more on gas. But uh, now that I think about it, those people that were, like, hoarding gas and, like, getting loads of gas from the gas station before... I'm saying gas because Americans are watching this. We don't call it gas, but fuck it. Um, yeah. Those people that were hoarding it now don't seem that silly because of how much the price has just gone up. It actually was probably quite a good move. I really want to pass my test. I want to be able to drive a car and get a car and all that shit. The thing I'm concerned about, though, is I'm not going to be able to... You know, afford actually buying a car and fucking insuring it. Just for context, to insure a car in the UK for your first year is about £3,000 at the moment. For your first year of driving. Or first year of insuring a car or whatever. £3,000. Even if your car costs like 50 quid, It's ridiculous. That's why I'm thinking of getting my car. Ugh. I think what I'm going to plan on doing it is get my car under the ownership of my grandparents. Because they've got so many years of driving experience. Like 40 years. And then classing myself as a second driver. So hopefully the insurance would come down to about half the amount. Alright, here we go. Attempt number two at this uh, New York event. Oh, I love that engine. Let's go. Third gear. Fourth gear. Fifth gear. Keep an eye on the braking zone this time. Brake. Not bad. Can I send a long sentence, yes or no? Uh, sure, but I won't be able to read it right away. There's only five gears in this thing? What's the point in giving me a car? Okay, yeah, I'm not reading that. 
mental. They were at 160 miles an hour, pretty much. I said yes, but I didn't realize it was just like 15 different imagining words. Like, you've literally written the word imagine like 17 times in that entire sentence. And the word thought 17 times. <laughs> COVID. I do find it funny how whenever anyone coughs, it's just, oh, you got COVID? Nice. Like, that's what anyone ever thinks nowadays. It's just, oh, you coughed? COVID. Today is today, tomorrow is today, while well, yesterday was also today. What day after tomorrow if tomorrow is today? Today? Yeah, I think the thing is the government saw this virus, right? Same as any other flu. And thought it's going to kill a lot of people. And sure it killed a few people. But so does the flu. The thing is, this was a flu that was a little more deadly than others, but it basically just killed people that had underlying respiratory problems. People who probably, some point in a couple of years' time anyways, would have died from some form of flu anyways. Like, these flus happen, these things happen... And at the end of the day, there's just circle of life, really. It sucks that the people died, don't get me wrong. Ouch. But. Like, at some point. The, the thing that really baffles me, right, is the people that who took the COVID vaccine, right, which is supposed to be pretty much a weaker version of coronavirus, right, mind you, I use the word weaker, because that means it's not as strong as what the actual COVID would have been, and these people that died from the vaccine, and their families going, oh, the vaccine killed them, yeah, well done, actual COVID would have killed you even more. Like, they would have got worse conditions, but also, if you think COVID was developing, and if you get coronavirus in four years' time, who's to say that the coronavirus you get in four years' time because you've isolated for so long might have been more deadly? 
Right, by all means, I'll take a headache and feeling sick for a couple of days over feeling like I'm dead for three weeks and then actually dying after those three weeks because COVID was got stronger. Anyways, I, I'm done with the COVID talk because some anti-vaxxer will get very annoyed with me. There we go. Give me the Lexus. I think what they did is they started painting the car and then they were like, I want to change the color, but they didn't have enough money to actually paint the rest of the car. <laughs> All right. We're going to move on to the Great American Face-Off now. And we're going to take the Shelby GT500. I like this car. Uh, Road Atlanta, New York Circuit, and Laguna Seca. Let's go. All right, here we go. Ford Mustang around... Road Atlanta. <laughs> Speaking from experience, yeah, that's fine. Also, uh, Hans, you don't need to correct yourself when you make a spelling mistake. As, as long as it's still understandable and still readable, I won't care. <laughs> if you make a mistake, don't worry about correcting yourself. I'm not... I, I will misspell stuff all the time, so I'm not one of those people that's like, Oh, you spelled it wrong. <laughs> so you don't have to worry about that here. <laughs> Me, England, very good, yes. <laughs> yeah, I think I understood that. <laughs> as long as it, like, grammatically makes sense... Like, if my mind can understand it, then it's fine. And if my mind doesn't understand it, I'll just say, could you explain it again in a different way? And I'll hopefully understand it that way. Oh, I love this quarter so much better now. This new Road Atlanta one. But yeah, like, I know people are different. Like, no two people are the same. And I understand that. As long as... <laughs> I, d I don't want to bring, like, race and stuff into this. Like, maybe I should. The world needs to... I, kn I know there's, like, 90% of people this does not apply to. But there are some people who do have a really negative view on certain people and stuff like that in the world. I'm someone who does not care about anything about you. You could identify as a helicopter. I would not give a shit. I really don't give two shits. As long as you don't force that on me and like try to sway my opinions on stuff. Like I'm straight all that. As long as you're not trying to sway my opinion I don't really don't care what you believe or who you are. Doesn't affect me. And it shouldn't affect anyone else in the world. The only thing that does affect me is if you're a dickhead. <laughs> like, that's the only thing that you should judge people on. If you're a dick and you're an arsehole, you can start off. <laughs> like, that's all that matters. I struggle the actual talk from eye to eye so bad to get out of me at least a sentence. Yeah, that's fair enough. Sometimes it can be difficult, especially when English isn't your first language. It can be difficult. To actually make an English sentence that makes sense. But at the end of the day, we all try our best. Like, the thing is, English people, we're known for being really shit at learning languages. So the fact that someone who whose native language isn't English and can actually do pretty well at speaking English, that's all you're already miles ahead of me. Because if you were to ask me to speak German, like I'm fucked. Italian? Fucked. Greek? Fucked. Turkish? Fucked. I go on holiday. I can't ask for any native people what they're... Uh, anything unless they can speak English. Because I am fucked. I can't speak the language. I, I try my best. But I can't keep language in my head that well. Voice chat isn't an issue, but when I actually speak to a person... I get a lot of native language in English. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. Ugh. 
have a look around. Oh, I got a phone call. Uh, I will ring in just a minute. I have to answer that in a sec. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Boo, 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 boo. Ah, come on. That'll be Nan. <laughs> I think I need to ring her. <laughs> She's rung my phone twice and I've not responded. I've just ignored her. I think I need to uh, answer this. I'll be back in a minute, chat. Yeah. All right. Apologies for the abrupt end to that last recording. I really had to get that phone call. <laughs> I had two missed calls on my phone. I then had a missed call from the house phone, which I knew was her. And then she rang my phone again. And then... Yeah, no response. Wow, well, nearly no response. I managed to pick it up just in time, but... Whew. If I didn't answer it the third time, who knows? I might have not had a head anymore. <laughs> Copy it to the other side, then it's done. Ah, awesome, awesome. I'm loving it. That design is going to be awesome for that crew session this Saturday. So yeah, it looks like I'm ordering a Domino's pizza for my tea tonight. I hate ordering Domino's because it's so expensive. But, like, I have no way of getting, like... I can't get a kebab delivered. Actually, I might search it up, see if I can get a kebab delivered from down the road. Maybe. Who knows? Not bad. I love the fact that there's so much advertising in this fucking map. It's unreal. Like, I genuinely think the advertising quota of this game, like, 60% of it is all just in this one map. Guaranteed. I haven't even got my headphones on. I'm doing this without audio, which is a very bad idea when it comes to racing games. Do, 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 do. Come on and do the conga. Do, do, do. Come on and do the conga. Yeah. That's sort of what I imagine the conga to sound like if I was singing it without any audio. Haha. <laughs> I don't even know what this was, because obviously, like, this track has been in Forza. I think it was Forza Motorsport 3 was the last one that I saw it in. I don't remember seeing it in Motorsport 4, to be perfectly honest. But... There was definitely a lot of advertising in this map, in Motorsport 1 and 2 and 3. I just don't see how... It's weird. Like, obviously, some of these billboards definitely only cost, like, 20 quid to put in the game. 
But, like, some of them, I can imagine their advertising quota was pretty high. Which is surprising, because this is only the second installment of this game. And I don't think a lot of people actually played it. I think it sold about a couple million units. Which, for a racing game, isn't a lot. Motorsport 3, I think, ended up selling a good 10 million. Plus. It must have sold somewhere around there. There's definitely numbers out there that I can look for. I know for a fact when it comes to motorsport, uh, I want to say five, six, and seven, money's not going to be an issue. And motorsport three and four, money's not going to be an issue after we hit level like 30 or something like that. Like once we've done the first 40 episode of motorsport three and four, the first 30 so episodes. That will be easy as well. We'll have no problem with money. It's just when it comes to some of the Horizon games, it might be a little more difficult. Oh, I've accidentally shifted into reverse, and that's why you wear headphones with this stuff. Yeah, it could, it could have been a promo track, to be perfectly honest, but... That's the original Forza Motorsport up there. That was the original Forza Motorsport logo, not Motorsport 2. I just noticed that. Not the bad. Mr. Bond. Alrighty, oh. Lovely jubbly. I will take that. 11,200. And by the time we've done this, we should... Do the next one. Uh, we should get to the next level. I forgot to press start recording. <laughs> yeah, because we've already got the uh, thumbnail images already done for ep the two episodes. Technically speaking, we just got to take screenshots and then we can bugger off to sleep. Or I can bugger off to sleep. Everyone else can finish doing whatever they were doing. I guess. <laughs> Do you know what I'm really going to hate, though? Because the past two weeks, while it's been really warm, uh, I've left my door open, left all the windows open, and it's kept it semi-cool in this room. I'm going to have to stop doing that because I've got to close my door when there's people downstairs because otherwise they complain, Oh, it's too loud! Okay, sure, I'm a bit loud, but still. I'm creating content. For the people of the interwebs. Leave me alone. <laughs> Joe, you know I actually really want to try out Final Fantasy 16 when that comes out. Uh, Final Fantasy has never been a game that I've actually been a fan of. But when I played Final Fantasy XV, I actually sort of enjoy it. I actually sort of enjoyed Final Fantasy XV. So, if Final Fantasy XVI has a similar style to XV... Again, I'm not 100% sure though, because a lot of the Final Fantasy games, I think they're completely different from each other. They, it's almost like they don't belong in a franchise. Because they're all so different. It's weird. 
<laughs> Being loud at most likely bots. Yes. Shouting at the bots. Ah! Yeah. Yeah. But again, I wouldn't mind trying Final Fantasy 16 when it... Not when it comes out, but like, maybe six months down the line. Because Final Fantasy 15, I... I played that game and played through it. And got to the end credits. So I finished that game. I didn't do the side missions, which, to be honest, Final Fantasy XV was really fucking short if you were just playing the story missions. And I had no clue where to find side missions. So, if there were side missions, then fair enough. If there weren't, it's a really fucking short game. But, yeah, no, I actually quite enjoyed it. Which is extremely strange for me, because normally I'm not a fan of those sort of fantasy world games. It doesn't float my boat. It sinks my ship. Become a Formula One car. Cause I want to identify as one. Meow. Original Nata. Wicked, wicked jungle is massive. Wicked, wicked jungle is massive. Orig, orig, original general. But technically speaking, based off of now the new laws and shit that are in the UK that have been there for the past, like, three or four years, if somebody genuinely puts that, they can't question it. They're legally not allowed to anymore. Which is fucking daft. Because, like, if a business, if someone finds someone and they just identify and send random junk, they're not allowed to discriminate against that anymore. So if they put daft ass shit in their gender, right? Like, oh, I identify as a blender. Like, they can't say, oh, well, I'm going to deny you now. Oh, well, that's discrimination. It's fucking dumb. Like, genuinely, if I was a manager and I saw someone put blender, I'd be like, yeah, fuck off, mate. <laughs> fucking weirdo. <laughs> Like, because th the level of, like, taking the piss, <laughs> it's a bit crazy. I know that contradicts with my statement I said earlier about how I don't care <laughs> what someone identifies as. But, like, if you identify as a kitchen appliance, you need a bit of help. Let's be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I identify as a microwave. <laughs> it would be funny. But yeah, that's where I draw the line. Like, any kitchen appliances? Yeah, y y you've gone beyond it. 
Not bad though. Let me take my rewards. We're level 23 and we got more curers. And we got level 2 for Shelby. You're not wrong there, Hans. You're not wrong. <laughs> Can't laugh at that though, because uh, we'll upset a certain demographic. Orig orig original general round. Ah, lovely. I'll take that. Thank you very much. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.